Um, my name is Dr. Sean Noko, and, and with me are my siblings, biological, and otherwise children to the following justice of the Supreme Court, honorable justice, Stella Arash Noko. My most frequent liberation in prayers is this is the day that the Lord has made and shall rejoice and be glad in it. On the morning of the 17th June 2023, I failed to find what to rejoice over when the news of Mama's passing filled our homes and our home. Over the past few hours, however, I have thought hard about her legacy and that if any of us, the children, that she didn't have of what she did, we would have done well. That reflection was a good foundation on which to build stories of gratitude. Mama has been unwell for a while, but she remained very jolly. Many that spoke to her over the phone would not have imagined that she was physically weak. She fought hard, but God did it have more. She was full of stories and light-hearted moments. When I went home to see her Sunday in March, I told her the world was looking for her. And she reported that she wasn't aware that she was that popular. And I, I, I really wish she was here to see the people that are here and the people who have been home for the past few days. She, report, she reported, anyway, when I told her that the world was looking for her, that she that if people really wanted to send her fruits, her mobile money line was very available. <laughs> her old girls from Sacred Heart suggest that she was the wrong person to play with because she would play with you but later beat you in class. You permitted instruction from her at your own period. She loved sports, she loved cooking, she loved her family. We stand here today to pay tribute to a lady of great honor. A lady who was passionate about justice, one who was industrious and cared a lot for quality and excellence. A lady of many awards, including one that I had been called to collect on Monday this week for her outstanding performance at the Supreme Court in 2020 that sadly she did not get to see. We called her mom, not Mama Annette or Mama Sarah or Mama Ellie, but Mama. Representative of her maternal love for so many, way beyond her biological children. She was not at first that she raised, but also mama to several judicial officers of the lower bench, including the chief registrar. She shared her wisdom with and mentored many. Ivy, yes, Ivy, Stella, who is very there. And myself, paying tribute to her for having inspired us to become lawyers. She desired excellence from us all. She did not like shortcuts and excuses for failing to meet high standards. Her desire for precision ranged from things related to education to how to cut meat and salad. She was soft but extremely firm. She valued her work and desired that all her children would attain the greatest heights possible in their careers. She was the one parent that all children feared to be reported to for any misbehavior. She frequently advised that she did not want anyone associated with her to bring her shame. She could be stunned, but in the same measure, quite gentle. At times, the most objective words about someone and the those best clothes. We as a family have been amazed at the tribute score in about Mama. We thank you for them. We would like to believe that she is hearing and seeing them all. As I bring this to a close, permit me to thank several people who did their best to make the journey of Mama's illness lighter and since her death have been amazingly supportive. My father will be here and he will not reiterate these thanks, so please bear with us in the interest of time. I thank the medical teams of Ruby, Kampala, Milago, Abakan, and Amasero Hospitals that assisted Mama through her illness. I thank Mama's sister, Aunt Christine, who did not leave 
Eva Sai and Christine. We thank you for the welcome. <laughs> and with our officers, we don't know how we have managed to deal with our sickness. So we there from the beginning to the very end. We thank you. And, and we thank you so much for being a dependable daughter. Mama, we love you. Thank you for serving this country diligently. Thank you for showing us the things that truly matter in life. Thank you for loving not only deeply, but widely. And my prayer for us all here is that in time, God will help us move from grief to gratitude for a life well lived. Fairly well, Mama, till we meet again.